Hey everybody, it's Justin from J3 Creation, and today we're going to be experimenting with oxalic acid, a uh, crock pot, some purified water, some zeolite chunks, jasper, um, some second soak uh, chunks of zeolite. This is holly blue, and this is a corpolite or cooperlite, which is basically fossilized poop. So fun things to clean but um I've got my stuff here and uh, I put about a gallon of water water in there with about a cup of the acid and um, so then we're going to add these chunks and um, kind of see where it goes so I'm going to be checking this stuff every little bit and um, just kind of see what it does. So this is the second soak of acid stuff for this guy. Um, actually, let me do this guy. See if we can really clean it up here. Some nice zeolite crystal chunks. Gonna just throw that in there. And we'll get the dinosaur poop in there. It's not crazy dirty, but I'm just kind of seeing what we can do here. Trying to document the difference. Get those in there. And then the blue holly, we've got a nice couple caverns in here, a crystal. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully more blue than that. <laughs> this one's not crazy dirty, but um, got some interesting agate seams and just want to see what we can do to clean her up. And maybe one or two. And we'll get this guy in there. It's a piece of blue holly, some interesting little chunks interesting colors so we'll get that in there yeah this guy in there see what we can do maybe a couple more little chunks of the zeolite got a nice little crystal pocket in there and uh see what we can do with this guy Maybe this guy too. I might have to add a little bit more water, but we'll see. So there it is. Um, and I've got it on low and I'm gonna check it every 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, I don't know, we'll see. I'm just kind of gauging things and uh, letting everybody watch. So enjoy and we'll see you soon. Okay, so it's been about three hours, and um, you can kind of see that it's definitely doing something. Um, yeah, I'll probably leave things in here for a bit. I've heard that if you leave the zeolite chunks in there too long or other softer specimen, that it can basically melt it away. So I don't really want to do that, but... I do want to try and get them as clean as we can. I might have to do a second soak with them, but um, yeah, just kind of seeing how it goes. Might leave it in for another hour or two. Some people say to do it overnight or up to 24 hours, and I've never done that, and I don't know that I will do that with this experiment today, but we'll see where it goes. Okay, so it's been about six hours, and I threw a few in <laughs> extra, as you can see, the small ones um, kind of depleted this little pile here. But, um, yeah, basically, I can only do it for about five hours today, um, but I think we've got a real good clean. I'm going to dump out the water, rinse everything. You can soak it in baking soda to neutralize the acid and I'm probably going to do that off camera 
and like a baking soda water solution. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get these rinsed and then we'll uh, kind of see how they look after I get them rinsed and dried. Okay, so here is everything uh, once it's been dried. That's the zeolite chunks. Got some beautiful uh, yellow sheen to it. But overall cleaned up really nice. The jasper cleaned up great. The agate seams didn't clean up too good, but I'm sure with like a 24 hour soak or something, it would be um, like way better. But yeah. I think overall turned out great. This is the holly blue. Didn't clean up too good, but I've got a nice enough chunk to where, whoop, there we go, to where I could probably cut it. And so, I see what we can do there. It's got a little bit of pink um, within the uh, blues. Here's another piece of the holly blue. Cleaned up pretty nice. This isn't a uh, top grade holly blue by any means, but it is from the holly area. So, yeah. But here's that little pocket. Definitely cleaned up pretty good. Here's the uh, dinosaur poop as well. Or copper light, copper light. Um, I'm excited to cut into that stuff as well. Definitely just looks like a pile of crap. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, here's another one I threw in. Got a nice little... There we go. Nice little pocket there. It's not super shiny on camera, but I swear it looks good. Um, here's the piece that was sitting on top. It was only in there for like an hour. Um... Didn't do too much though, but all this other stuff, all the little stuff that was in there for a while, really cleaned up nice. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to, uh, to do some more cleaning with this stuff and see what we can really do here. Here's another good chunk of the zeolite crystal stuff. Just a big chunk of crystal. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And I do have some other videos about how to clean rocks different ways. So make sure to subscribe and keep watching. Thanks for joining. Have a blessed day.